a few questions about where I would start if I was doing my home lab again and where someone else should start. And honestly, if you have an old computer laying around or you're able to buy a Raspberry Pi, uh, either a three, a four, or a five, I mean, anything to really start, I would get one of those because one, that'll teach you Linux, it'll teach you how to image one, and then you can learn the basics on, you could put, you can keep Raspbian on it, you can put Linux Mint on it, um, you could put Ubuntu on it. I have a bunch of server running on all three of these boards right here. And you could start learning how to use Docker, basics of Linux, commands, and then eventually you can step up if you have another computer, you can add it. Uh, if you have a computer that can run Proxmox, you could try out virtualization. But I would just start with either an old computer you have laying around or Raspberry Pis, you can get them for 80 bucks, 50 bucks, 80 bucks, and start a home lab that way. And home lab doesn't have to be, like mine's not even that big, but like that and a server that I have down below could be as simple as just a Raspberry Pi you plugged in. And you can get a Wi-Fi adapter if you don't have Ethernet to run it still. And it comes with everything in this kit, even has a little fan that runs inside of it. And then you can put a bunch of different stuff and running on it. If you have smart home automation running in your room, you could also put a home assistant on it, which is like a controller for all of your automation, like your thermostats that are smart, your light bulbs, garage doors, door locks, all that kind of stuff. And Docker can run almost anything inside of it.